part seven of the Buzz Bubble interview with George Lois on the Buzz Bubble. Look, so the book's going to be terrific because it's got photographs of Hayes and photographs of me at some of the shoots and photographs when we were when we were shooting Muhammad Ali with the hours. Right, and, right. And um, that's a great cover. And, and, and you know, it's really fun book. So I, for our I, audience, one of the first ten people who sign up to the Buzz Bubble fan page on Facebook, we're going to give away one of George's books, and he was graciously brought some of his other books as well. Oh yeah, my, the, the Yali Rapid book. You ever see it? You ever read I, it? This one I did not oh, know. Oh God, what a book! I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a thrilling book. Yeah. I'm ser- I'm serious. I gave one to Bill Bradley a couple of weeks ago, who's a good friend of mine, and he said, I never saw it. I said, fuck you, you never saw it. He called me up there yesterday and he said, wow. wow. I thought I knew something about Muhammad Ali's life. He said, that's incredible. First of all, it, I, I call it Ali Rap. You know, Ali Rap, Muhammad Ali, the first time a champion of rap. I contend he, the rap is, basically got it from Muhammad Ali. They all grew up with Muhammad doing all the poetry. Right, right. Muhammad and I were working to get Ruben Havoc caught out of jail. And I'm down in, in Florida, and some rap music comes on. 76 was early time. And he said, hey, sure, 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 I want to hear this. I said, you know, Muhammad, they got it from you. You're the first rapper. <laughs> and he said, no, no, George, you, you don't understand. First, I rapped them with my mouth. Then I rapped them in the in mouth. The- right? <laughs> I said, gee, I gotta do a book on it. Uh, I think there's 600 pages, so there's wow. 300 something quotes. Every one in there is a quote from him. And I go through his life and some bad stuff too. I mean, his, <laughs> his, his wife, Muhammad's wife, who was a Muslim, said, How could you have done that? I said, What? Well, Muhammad. This is what you he know said. I mean? What do you, you know? What you, you know? <laughs> you know? And, and, and Ali goes like this to him. Ah. <laughs> you know, so so no, the Ali rap book is hot stuff, boy. Terrific. Well, two things. Actually, my next guest is Jeff Goodby. I want to see if you uh, had a question I could pass on to uh, to Jeff from. You know, it's always the same question I would guide. I've always liked to know from guys where, who were their mentors were, who inspired them. Mine were Ida Engel, my high school, my public school teacher. Right. Herschel Levitt, the guy who threw me out of college. <laughs> uh, you know, Paul Van before that because I read a book on th- called Thoughts of Design, and he. I realized in the, when I was in high school that there was a, a guy out there with real courage and real talent who was making a living right? and not eating shit and not, <laughs> and not being an architect who sat there in his room waiting for somebody to bring him a piece of paper. People I really admired and, and inspired me was uh, Bill Golden, who I went to work for, right. Herb Lou Ballon, who I went to work with, uh, Bill Birnbach and Bob Gage, who I, who I worked with. I was really lucky working with the guys I really thought were great men. So, so, so I, 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 I always say Jeff. these guys, well, what, what happened? Oh, you know, sometimes you get some strange answers. Well, your first three, no one would ever know. You didn't know yeah. the name of your grammar yeah. school teacher, no matter how good they are. Strange. I remember uh, somebody, uh, we, we put somebody into the Art Directors Hall of Fame, which I started in 1972, and I, we put somebody in and he got up and he gave his talk and he basically talked about the fact he didn't have he didn't. mentor nothing a full-born right. genius not not no way that's why i did that book um george lois and his creation of the big, big idea, idea. Yeah. that thing says to everybody it all comes from five thousand years of, of, of understanding of art of understanding of film of understanding you know dance of understanding sports dirty jokes you know <laughs> right of, it, it's people. everything and that's where it all comes from Go one ahead. of your questions was um, do you have trouble coming up with ideas? Well, Hal Ryan in our well, copy says, yeah. you know, I, I heard him the say fear that. of, well, we don't know where they I come from, say, and I, what if they stop? I've heard him say that, you know, we live in two different worlds. Yeah. I try very hard not to get an idea the second I am given the information, because I, I want to make sure I got all the information. Right. And I know if it's a product, I want to know not only the information, I want to know what the, comp- what the competition is. If I can't come up with the right solution in an hour or so, I'll slip my throat. Apparently that never happens. No, that's great. But I don't think um, it's getting idea. I think I think there's an idea there's an idea in there. And it's floating by. And you gotta be sharp enough to grab it. Mm-hmm. I, I really think I'll that I, I really think I don't create anything. I really think it's it's putting it all in my in my DNA computer, et cetera, and my knowledge et cetera, and somehow there's an answer there, and I always is work. It a boom? Oh, and I always work. If, it? if it's an ad campaign, I always work uh, with copy first because advertising should have 
two mnemonics, you know, MN. One should be the, the line, the slogan or the line, and the other one is some kind of a, some kind of a visual. Right. You know, it's Mick Jagger picking up the phone and saying, I want my MTV. It's the whole job. Yeah, right. That's the whole It's idea. the whole job. So do you usually get an execution when you get your idea, too? You say, That's I'm going to get... I really or... would rather not work with a copywriter when I work. <laughs> I, I, and the better the copywriter, the more trouble I'm in. Because the copywriter who's really good will say some talented things. And now you're turning and, left. And they don't click with me with how I'm going to do it. I mean, immediately I say, I can't do anything with it. And that's a hard... Yeah, and I'm sure it's tough And it's a hard discussion. You know? Yeah, I don't really like that. I don't I, have I that. Dis- when I think of, when I'm working by myself and I think of something, when I, when I hear, oh, what a great line, but I can't do anything with it, I throw it out. Right. Until I get the line that works, uh, uh, you know, mnemonically two ways. Mm-hmm. You know, when I explain to people the mnemonics to kids, and like, you, all your work should be m- memorable. Right. Remember, like the SY code should be memorable. People remember it. People remember when they saw, first saw it on a newsstand. You know, sure. For it to be memorable. It's Your advertising should be memorable. So, therefore, what's memorable about advertising? It should be what somebody says and what somebody does. You know, duh. And you if know. you can't say, hey, did you see that and remember what it was, and people yeah, start correct, telling others, then it's not yeah, very good. And, and if it's really memorable, you remember all your life. You know? Well, great. I want to okay. close the deal with okay. our buzz round, where I just ask, give you a couple words, and you give me. A this or a that, or you say, fuck you, you're an idiot, whatever. Okay. <laughs> just okay. to get to know George this, this, a little this better. Is, this is your problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Chocolate or vanilla? Uh, you know, a very strange answer I want to give you. I, I, it was always vanilla. Uh-huh. And for the last two or three years, I got the taste of chocolate. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm turning into a pussy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm so. Well, no me for vanilla it means that you're funny, duddy. You know? I don't know. No, I'm I think, a vanilla. But maybe but I'm maybe getting, maybe I'm getting strong. Ten years, I'll be a, yeah, a yeah. chocolate. Right. Well, a vanilla ice cream with chocolate is, is good. You know? And the chocolate on top. That's but why uh, intermarriage. You want it uh, all. That's why intermarriage is good. Well, you're talking to an uh, you know, Irish Italian Jew here, so you oh know, I know God. all about. Oh, ooh, what a combination! Go ahead. <laughs> I fight with myself all the time. <laughs> I argue. Uh, Burger King or McDonald's? Neither. <laughs> And that's a fine answer. No, I mean, I got forced into eat, biting into a Burger King on it. It was an airport. Hey, Burger King. I get for that. <laughs> you know, no, no, I'm going to get you right. I, yeah, I, you I, regretted I, it the next But time. I was starving. He bought me a Burger King. It was a, it was a right. You know, but I, I, <laughs> well, here's you know, the one life little... is too short to not eat really good food all yeah, the time. Bring okay, it home sure. to New York a little. Okay. Famous Man. Rays or Original Rays? There's no such thing. I mean, it, <laughs> There's no there's famous. Like five famous the well, famous they, well, famous they are. <laughs> yeah. Famous for bullshit. <laughs> right. I mean, there's 28 of them. How many? 32 right. of them. But 48 that's original, of them. Original. Original five. Everybody uh, wants to know which the original was. There was no uh, original. You know. Okay. Uh, nature or nurture? I guess nurture. You know. I guess nurture because you can do something about it. Right. In nature, you can't do shit about. Well, maybe you can. You know, but the but the Republicans don't think so. You know. <laughs> I Stup- like that. Stupid sons of bitches. Boxing or biking? Oh, boxing. Uh, Are you Irish neighborhood, you oh, had a good fish box fight. away. Out. Yeah, I haven't had a good fish fight in four years. <laughs> well, at least four. It's true. I have Mets or Yankees, but we covered that one. No, I like the Mets, oh. too, but I, I'm, no, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a stiff. I mean, I, okay. I like the Mets. I like any new, anything New York. All right. SpongeBob or Bugs Bunny? Oh, Bugs. Yeah. yeah. The Bugs was, was good. Brilliant. Oh, oh no. I mean, he was a Talk nasty. about illustration. You know what one of the greatest movies ever made was? Pinocchio. Yeah. Oh, have you ever sat down and sure. looked at Pinocchio? Yeah. You know, sit down with your kid and look at Pinocchio. What a terrific movie. Yeah. I mean, you the know. Great, great old sto- illustrations. Oh, yeah, I mean, and oh, yeah, hand yeah, drawing has yeah. now even gone from animation. I, I have That's trouble amazing. looking at a lot of uh, 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 you know, animation these days. Coke or Pepsi? Not neither. Okay. That's another thing you shouldn't do. Coke, Pepsi, smoking. Oh. You know, well, I don't smoke. Eating I, shit, you know. Yeah, well, that's a bad one. Right off the no, list. No, I mean, it's really, they really... Terrible drinks. Steak or tofu? Uh, steak. That's a loaded question. Yeah. I knew that one. Yeah. Mac or PC? Uh, uh, Mac. Volkswagen or Mini Cooper? Well, I like the old. V- I like the old VW. I, I like. That was the, a loaded question. It was think. designed by Porsche and Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to talk about next time we get together. Yeah, we had to do. Yeah, we we at Dole Day we we had to sell a Nazi car in a Jewish town. <laughs> right. Truth or dare? Both. I'm, uh, okay. Both are important. Citizen Kane or Star Wars? Oh, Citizen Kane. Uh, Are you kidding? Citizen Kane was ma- yeah. masterful. Wonderful. Masterful. 
that scene, she's learning to sing up. Then the camera starts going up. You follow her voice up. You're going up on nothing. You're up on the raft, and you know, there's nothing. Yeah, and, then, so. and, and, and it goes up, 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 up. And there's two guys, two stagehands. Right, right. You know, and one guy looks at the other guy and, and go, he goes like this. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> what a scene, you know what I mean? I mean, Jesus Christ, you know. Well, with that, we'll close the show. Yeah, great. George, thanks so much for coming on the Buzz Bubble. It's great. been a real thanks. pleasure. I thanks. really appreciate it. Thanks. Did you get everything? I think so. Should we start rolling? What a scene. That's it for part seven of the Buzz Bubble with George Lois. Tune in next week for our interview with Jeff Goodby.